What is up? Fellas, JPS delivers here, playing against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Tampa Bay, of all places. Uh, got Brad Johnson, quarterback, however, Drew Brees is in. He's injured. Um, got Jerry Rice and company. Uh, an all right offensive line, really not that good. It's a defensive line, though. You got Simeon Rice, Dwight Freeney, two of the best pass rushers at the time. They got this uh, Jehovah's Witness right here at D tackle. Um, Teddy Bruschi at middle linebacker. They have a good duo right there. Dre Bly, Dre Bly and company. They're so I think their defense is actually pretty damn good. But uh, home day, dun dun, dun 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 Wednesday night football. But even though the sun is out, Wednesday night football, home day, big butts. All right, here we are, folks. First play of the game. Forgot. That on defense, Sprint is with the circle button, and Sean Taylor gets burned by Terry Glenn. But fortunately enough, Ricky Williams came to play this week against Tampa Bay. Um, can't say really the same about uh, da David Carr and company, even though it was a nice pass right there for a first down ball given to Ricky Williams. Um, jukes and uh, looks quite sloppy, but um, I wish with the playmaker instead of having that as like the blocker or something. Wish it was uh, you trucking a player and almost intercepted on third down. Now it's going to be Tampa Bay ball up. Seven zip. Um, Drew Brees, again, just carve us, uh, carving us up. Even though uh, Drew Brees, I don't think Drew Brees has been amazing in his whole entire career out in uh, this kind of weather right here in Florida, especially Tampa Bay. Um, you know, obviously on the road when he plays there, now he's got to be the home quarterback. And a beautiful hit. A big hefty bastard right there as on the offensive line gets the ball. Pass out to Reed on third down. Nothing going. Slow first quarter for this Seahawks team. Nice little tackle right there on Rudy Johnson, who really, uh, Rudy Johnson wasn't doing too much, but Drew Brees definitely was. However, now on that play, nice sack on third down. Ball in play action. Passing it down the field to Andre Johnson, but a great play by Dre Bly. And then here we go, a nice little pass to Andre Johnson. As he makes his little deep dig route. I think it was a dig route. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's a first down for us. And here we go. Play the game right there. Beautiful moves as Ricky Williams pulling off some 1998-99 Heisman year right there with UT. Um, but all I know is that was one of the nicer, uh, well-ran runs I've ever had in Madden history. That was just beautifully done as... As you see, like, it's more of a cut move. And now, like, in the, as Madden progressed into, like, 2010 and stuff, like, 2008 even. On this one, though, it was definitely, uh, definitely in this game, it was more of a juke move. And, man, was that a nice little duo of jukes pass out right there by David Carr. It is 7-7, seven to seven, but unfortunately so. Not even Ricky Williams is able to get it again. I was fucking up with the sprint. We're technically on defense, which... I'm glad they fixed it finally, but that's a pick six. Nice run by Ricky Williams again on the first down. 7-14 still. David Carr just zips it right there to Todd Heap. Honestly, I messed up. I was trying to sprint. Forgot that you can't even sprint out of the pass. And threw it right at the tight end, who happened to be the X button for sprint. Then Ricky Williams bounces it outside on a nice juke. Gets a nice... First down on that, and then here he is, falling right in the end zone. It's going to be a touchdown, 14 all, just over two left in the first half. Nice pass right there to Finneran by Drew Brees. Back, <laughs> drops back again. It's another first down. Weren't really able to stop this passing attack. We should have given a little bit more pressure. Felt like their offensive line probably would have lagged quite a bit. Pass back out, and kind of a check down to... Uh, Ricky Williams, even though he's kind of running in the flats a little bit, is kind of a design play, but there you go. Sacked by Simeon Rice. And we're going to lose the ball. 14 all still. 35 seconds left in the first half. Catch by Terry Glenn. Uh, rest in peace to Terry, Terry Glenn, even though it has been a couple years, I believe, since his passing. Is that correct? I don't know. But Neil Rackers, um, cha, the rack on this guy right here, just straight up kicking balls. Only a nice rack could get away with kicking balls. That's all I got to say. But nice little kick right there by Neil Rackers. Uh, pass back out. Just junk time yardage right there to end the half. David Carr trying to pass it out. Nice little catch by Reed. But Neil Rackers really had 
Sorry, I mean, a nice rack is always going to keep my mind on it. Sorry, fellas, I'm just so distracted by the rack that is Neil Rackers. But for a dude that's not even rated that well in this game, he kicked pretty fucking well for this Tampa Bay team. Pissed me the fuck off, but on third down, incomplete pass by Drew Brees. Ball out to Ricky Williams. Going to be a first down. No, it's not. Going to be second and in inches. Now third and in inches. Oh, just... It's unfortunate. Not going to convert. Going to be their ball. 17-14 still. Drew Brees passes it out. To Larry Fitzgerald. Rookie Larry Fitzgerald out of Pittsburgh. Um, happens to be on the cover for NCAA football 2005. We're playing Madden NFL 2005. The shit to where we actually feel like uh, the only time we can pay these players. But uh, I digress on that one. Neil Rackers back to the nice rack. Neil Rackers setting up the field goal. And again, I mean, this motherfucker right here. I know he was rated in the 90s and stuff and like Madden 2008 in, a couple, in several years and stuff. Nice juke right there and broken tackle by Ricky Williams. Um, wish the rest of my team would have played by Ricky uh, like Ricky today. And there you go. Beautiful move on the outside. Ricky Williams going to the 50, the 40, the 30. Oh, gets taken down to the 26-yard line. And again, setting up in good position. 14 to 20. Got 9.56 left in the fourth quarter. And this team, um, I mean, did, did I mention uh, Neil Rackers again? It's a nice rack. Uh, but now we got our own little kicker right here. Little ball kicker right here. And Reiki, me Reiki this kick, I can tell you that, as it's going to sail right through the middle, dealing with that wind, aimed it a little bit, calculated on the left, went left to right, nicely done, 17-20 in the fourth quarter, is a tight-knit game, especially since um, there's kind of some big explosive plays, we did see that big explosive play by Ricky Williams in the second half, but... Um, unfortunately, kind of slowed down in this one. Derek Carr, or David Carr gives it out. Ricky Williams about five yards on the play. Then he just gets bottled up, and then Ricky has to do the most Ricky Williams thing is uh, get caught smoke. Uh, well, uh, would he be more likely to uh, smoke a joint on the sidelines in Florida or get completely fucked up on opioids? You tell me. Um, opiates, whatever the fuck you want to talk about. But there you go, Neil Rackers, back to the nice rack, and look at this bullshit. 70 overall kicker doing this shit, not cool with it. Now 23-17, to 17. Ricky Williams on the outside. Gonna get second and in inches, I believe, but we end up getting the first down anyways. And pass out to Mr. Reed, as it was a sack on that one. Third down conversion opportunity right here. Are we gonna be able to get it? And unfortunately, beautiful interception by Mr. Bailey. Second on the day, I think he's the most valuable player in my opinion on the day. Even though, if we had won this game, it would have easily been Ricky Williams. With I believe he had more, easily had more than 100 yards on the day. But here we go, back to uh, back to the nice rack again. Mr. Neil Rackers nails it through, and what was I believe his fourth field goal on the day? Pass out to Ricky Williams on the edge. I mean, they just weren't able to contain him. Uh, linebacking crew for this one. Sorry, Teddy Bruschi, you're just not athletic enough to deal with it. Pass out to Andre Johnson. And dare I say, pass it to Steve Smith. There you go. Oh, man, I'm a fucking genius. Goddamn. Can I read your Can I read your hand? Can I read your card? Oh. oh Should have been able to fucking tell you that, but I'm too biased on that, on that one, predicting that kind of future. Pass out to Andre Johnson. Now fourth down, last opportunity to really make a hoo-raw for this game. And there's going to be a pass out to Andre Johnson. I don't know why the fuck he noodle-armed that one. But that's going to be the end of what I consider a depressing hump day. Uh, no jiggly big butt for a, j a hump day indeed. Well, even though these players, you know, the NFL players are, they're still partying after they have a tough loss. That was a tough loss today. I'm going to just stay inside. And it's not because I'm quarantined inside and forced to. It's just... It's not hot looking at someone with a fucking mask, if you know what I'm saying. And that's going to be the game. 17-26. Let's check out the stats in this one. The fucking ears get a win. An NFC win. Not a divisional game, of course. Um, because it would have been an even shittier game. Considering what the rest of the teams look like in that division. Two picks. Less than 50% completion. That's the big man right there. Ricky Williams, 168 yards, two touchdowns. He also had 40 yards receiving for the game. Definitely impressive. 39 yards after the catch. Todd Heap gave up a sack. And I think he only had like two catches on the day. And one of them went for like one yard. Even though the other one was like about 50, 60 yards. It was nice. 
But there you go, nail rackers. Ugh, it is what it is. Drew Brees, a touchdown, and they're able to move the ball quite well. But at the same time, I mean, look at that. They get four field goals, not able to capitalize. Whatever, though. Whatever. We're going to have to fix it. As always, fellas, be grateful for everything that comes to you, and see you next time.